everyone, this is Coach Christy from CrossFit Mokina bringing you our workout for Friday, May 8th, 2020. It is called Chocolate Chipper. We have a long chipper workout today. Parents, don't forget that we have Kids Club today from 2 to 2.30. And everyone, today is the second to last day to finish this week's weekly challenge, which is called Three Swift Rounds. It is a mini three-round workout, so make sure you register for that in Tribe and get your score online. Today we have three components to our work. We have our warm up, we have our strength, which is combined with core work, and then we have the workout itself. So, talking about the warm up first, we're going to start with a 200 meter run. Those of you with rowers, it is a 250 meter row, or it's going to be a 400 meter, which is a quarter mile bike. After that, we're going to do two rounds. We're going to do six of each movement in the workout, which I'll address in just a moment. And then we're going to stretch. We're going to come down to the floor and complete 10 scorpions as well as 10 eagles so we can get our legs and our back nice and warm. Our strength today, 12 minute EMOM, every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. On the even minutes, we are going to do seven we're going to do seven to 10 reverse burpees. So seven, eight, nine, or 10 reverse burpees. On the odd minutes, we're going to do 14 arm raise planks. Notice the challenge at the bottom. Can you raise your arm and your leg? So that 14 is going to be seven on each side. So let's take a look at our workout for Friday, May 8th called Chocolate Chipper. It starts with a 200 meter run. Again, just like the warm up that translates to a 250 meter row or a 400, which is a quarter mile bike. Then we're gonna do 10 box jump overs. We're gonna do 20 kettlebell or dumbbell snatches. We're gonna do 30 alternating V-ups, 15 on each leg, 40 kettlebell or dumbbell lunges, 20 on each leg, 50 double unders, and then 60 kettlebell swings. And then notice the color coding. We're gonna go through the workout reverse. Back to those 50 double unders or 100 singles. Back to those 40 kettlebell dumbbell lunges. Back to the 30 alternating leg V-ups. Back to the 20 kettlebell or dumbbell snatches. Complete those 10 box jump overs again. And then another 200 meter run. Once you finish that final 200 meter run, look at the clock. Your score is the time for today. So as I mentioned for our warm up, we are starting with a 200 meter run. After that, we are going to do six of every movement in the workout. So the first movement is going to be a box jump over. For those of you that do not have boxes, we are going to do step overs. Me personally, when I do these at the gym, I do what's called a grapevine. So you know where you step with one leg, one behind and then tap, step behind and tap. I actually do that for my step overs. So I step up onto my box or chair, step behind, and then tap down to the floor. That would be one. So I'm stepping over and tapping down, stepping over and tapping down. For those of you who have a box and have the ability to jump, please do so. Jump up onto the box, but still go over to the other side. What's nice about these is that you do not have to hit full hip extension at the top. We just need to get onto the box and then over to the other side. The next movement we're gonna do six of is kettlebell or dumbbell snatches. So kettlebell or dumbbell are going to be in between your feet in super slow motion. Back flat, weight in my heels. I'm going to deadlift. I'm gonna shrug, pull my elbow high and dip to receive overhead. The movement is completed once I stand all the way up. So on the other arm, a little bit faster, deadlift, shrug, high elbow, dip to receive, and then stand. From another angle, back is flat, weight is in my heels. I pull that kettlebell or dumbbell right up the torso and then catch overhead. The next movement we have are alternating V-ups. So we're gonna do six of these as well, which is going to be three on each leg. I'm going to bring my opposite hand to the foot. So left goes to right, right goes to left. So down on the floor, I'm going to opposite, cross my body, and work on those alternating V-ups. 
From there, we're gonna do six kettlebell or dumbbell lunges. I personally hold the kettlebell in the front rack position. If I have a dumbbell, I typically prefer to hold the dumbbell on my traps. It is totally up to you where you hold the object, but for that lunge, we wanna make sure our knee is over our ankle and the back leg just lightly touches the floor. So this would be one lunge, and then two, and then three. For the warm up, we're doing six of everything. From there, we're gonna go into six jump ropes. You can do doubles or singles, that is up to you. And then we're gonna finish with six kettlebell or dumbbell swings. Tiny little dip, push on that kettlebell or dumbbell with my hips, squeezing my glutes at the top, getting my biceps up by my ears. Now, the warm up, you do not need to now go through the list in reverse order. You don't need to do that. So just go through the first half of the workout, completing six of every move. Then I mentioned we're gonna stretch. We're gonna come down to the floor to complete scorpions and eagles. For both of them, I'm going to lay down and my hands are going to be in a wide T. For the scorpion, I'm on my stomach. My legs are going to act like the tail of the scorpion. I'm going to rotate, trying to get my foot up towards my hand. This is gonna stretch out my quad as well as the low back. That would be one, rotate to the other side, hold it there, that would be two. Eagles are the same thing, but I'm going to be on my back. So I'm on my back, hands are still out to the side and I'm bringing my legs trying to get my foot up towards my hand. This is now going to stretch out my hamstrings as well as the low back. This is one, bring it down. This is two and bring it down. Okay, from there, that's 10 scorpions and 10 eagles, our strength today. Every minute on the minute for 12 minutes. We're gonna do reverse burpees. These are challenging. I, I'm going to show you some options. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down onto the floor, roll to my back, and then stand up and clap overhead. So I come down, I roll, I stand, and jump. Again, I'm going to roll, stand, and jump roll, stand, and jump. If you are unable to stand up, feel free to use your hands as assistance to get off the floor. So after I roll, if you need to, you can push off the floor to help yourself get um, into that stand-up position. So I can roll, use my hands to push, and then go into that jump. So again, I'm gonna roll, use my hands for momentum, and then stand up. So on the even minutes, zero, two, four, six, eight, and 10, we're going for seven, eight, nine, or 10 of those reverse burpees. On the odd minutes, we are going to try to do 14 arm raise planks. I'm gonna be in a push-up plank and my feet are gonna be a little bit wider. So I don't want my feet together. I have them about a foot, maybe a foot and a half apart. Keeping my core tight, I lift my arms. One, two, three, four. If you would like an extra challenge, opposite arm and leg. One, two, three, four. And we're gonna do 14 of those on the odd minutes. Now going into our workout. Our workout again is called Chocolate Chipper. At Ready, Set, Go, you're gonna head outside for your 200 meter run, or 250 meter row, or a 400 meter bike. Then we're gonna go into 10 of our box jump overs. Again, if you have a chair, you can absolutely step. It is not required that you jump. Then we'll go into our 20 snatches. It is up to you if you would like to alternate those or if you want to do sets. It's 10 on each arm. So if you wanna go through and do all 10 on the right and then all 10 on the left, that's fine. 
or you can alternate. That is up to you. Break it up however you choose. After those 20 kettlebell or dumbbell snatches, we're gonna come down to the floor for our 30 alternating V-ups. That's two, three, four, and five. And then from there, we're going into our 40 lunges. Kettlebell or dumbbell, that's one, that's two, that's three, 20 on each leg. After that, we'll grab our jump rope, 50 double unders or 100 singles. And then we will have 60 kettlebell swings, kettlebell or dumbbell swings, getting those straight up overhead. And then you're welcome. You get to go through the list in reverse. 50 more jump ropes, 40 more lunges, 30 more alternating V-ups, 20 more snatches, 10 more of those box jump overs, or step overs, and then we finish with that 200 meter run. Tonight, also everyone, we are doing Name That Tune at 8.15 tonight. So hop on Zoom, everyone in your household is on your team, so we hope to see you there. Good luck everybody.